Only on two, it was late. He was eyeing pricey pieces on the inside of the store. It's until he was greeted by a shiny piece, a gun. Our Javon Terry live in the loop along Jewelers Row with the showdown. Caught on surveillance. Good evening, Jermont. Do I know you? Do I know you? I don't know, but I just Hey, Brad, you know, this story just may leave you scratching your head a little bit. I want to show you some of the damage. Take a look at this front door. You can see that it's boarded up. The glass is still shattered. This is how the guy tried to get in. But keep in mind, it was 1 o'clock in the morning, and you can guess there was nothing on display here. All the good jewelry, it was locked up. So it begs the question, the guy who was trying to who caused all this damage, he was met with... I should say, a goner pointing the gun right at him, and he really met his match that night. It's hard to show off the merchandise when all customers at Jewels of Chicago see is a busted door. For me, this store is bread and butter. There's plenty of shiny jewelry on display, yet Friday morning, this guy in the shiny blue jacket decides he wants some free bling. We, we cannot predict who's coming, who's doing what after hours. Surveillance spots the man lurking first, and when people walk by Jeweler's Row just before 1 a.m., he waits for them to pass, then peeks in the window. He leaves for a second and watch what he comes back with, a heavy metal chain, and yes, he throws it right at the glass door. The first time he hit that and walked away, he was checking to see if he would hear an alarm. He only breaks one panel of glass, so no alarm goes off. But Jason Quatch, who manages the building, is at the office and hears the commotion. I don't think he expected anyone to be inside. And just as this crook picks up the chain again to break the second glass, he finds out who's inside. The moment he saw me come out with my firearm drawn, he quickly ran away and I just heard no, no, no. A different angle shows Jason running down the stairs with his gun. The moment the door opens, just look at the fear on the man's face. Although Jason did not fire a shot, he tells me he was ready to. You definitely scared the crap out of him. I hope I did. <laughs> and the message to anybody else thinking about doing the same thing is what? Is, is it worth it? And that is the big question, was it worth it? Now, some people are also wondering where exactly did this crook get that heavy metal chain? Now, right around the corner, you can see that there's a construction crew, some bobcats left behind, and it is suspected that the person got the chain from there and then walked back into the front door and made the, his move. Again, no shots was fired, and police are still looking for the individual who caused this vandalism. Reporting live along Jewelers Row tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, good get, thank you.